Hey everybody, in this video we're going to install Node.js and VS Code, and subsequently we're going to run Hello World in JavaScript. So whenever we want to run JavaScript code outside of our browsers, we need a runtime environment. And that is exactly what Node.js is. So right here I am on the nodejs.org website, and we're going to click on the Community Edition. So as soon as you click on it, you'll see the download start in the bottom left hand side of your screen. After it's downloaded, just click on it and you'll open up the installation setup. So after waiting for a brief moment, the setup window should pop up. So you want to click on next, then accept the license agreement. Then you can choose the directory in which you want to install Node.js. And in the next window, you can decide on what components of Node.js you want to install. Since we're not going to make any changes here, we can press on next. Then it will ask you if you want to automatically install some necessary tools. And we'll just go with that because it will make it easier down the line. Finally, we can go ahead and press on install. Now you just have to wait a couple of moments for it to install. I've gone ahead and increased the speed of the footage so that we don't need to wait that long, but it can take a bit longer for you. And once it's done, click on finish. After you do that, it's going to continue by installing the additional tools. Now the installation process won't be as fast as it is on screen right now because I've increased the speed of the footage quite a bit, so you need a bit of patience. But at the end, the window closes and you're done. Now, if you want to go ahead and check that everything is installed properly, you can go to your start menu and check if the node icon is there. And as you can clearly see, I have it right over here. And if I go ahead and click on it, Node.js opens. So we've managed to properly install Node.js. The next thing we want to do is to install VS Code. Okay, so to install VS Code, we're going to navigate to the VS Code homepage. Now, if you click on the down arrow, you get the option to install this for Mac and Linux but we're going to install it for Windows, so we can directly click on the download for Windows. As soon as you click it, the download starts in the bottom left hand side of your screen and you're redirected to a new page. Once the installer has fully downloaded, you simply have to go ahead and click on it. Once you do that, the installation window will pop up. Then you accept the license agreement and press next. In the following window, you need to choose a installation directory and press next again. Then you need to specify the folder into which the installer should install the shortcuts. In the next window, there's a couple of options that are open to you, such as adding an icon to your desktop. The most important thing in this window is that you leave the add to path check mark checked. So go ahead and press on next one more time. And in the next window, all you have to click is install and it will start the installation process. Then you just have to wait a couple of moments for the installation process to finish. And in the next window, you simply have to click on finish. Once you do that, VS Code opens automatically. And when you open VS Code for the first time, it will give you a couple of options, such as picking a theme or um, choosing what languages you'd like to code in. So go ahead and play around with that a little bit. But let's go on and create the Hello World in JavaScript. Okay, now that we've installed Node.js and VS Code, we can go ahead and run our first program, which is going to be Hello World. So let's go ahead and open up VS Code. And once we open up VS Code, we're going to press on New File and select a language. In the drop down menu, we're of course going to go down to JavaScript. And now we can write the code that we want to execute. Now we would like the console, um, the terminal to, to output hello world. So all we need to write is console.log and then in parentheses, we're going to write hello world. And we end with a semicolon. Now we need to save this file before we can execute it. I'm going to go ahead and write uh, and save this as hello. We're going to save it as hello. And then down here in the terminal, if you want to execute the code, we simply need to write node, then the name of the file, which was hello, and dot js. And you'll see that if I go ahead and press enter, it will execute hello world, and we've done it. Now, let's say we want to execute hello world in a browser window. We can also go ahead and do that. Um, let's change this to alert. And if we want to execute it in the browser window, we can go ahead and save this, then go on run 
and run without debugging and you'll see that it will go ahead and uh, open up a browser window um, in this case it's the Chrome browser and it will pop up with an alert saying hello world. Alright so I hope this video has helped you out. If you would like to see me do an entire series of JavaScript videos then let me know down in the comments below or let me know by leaving a like on this video. See you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.